Hello everybody, my name is JB and I am here to start a let's play with the FTB Ultimate Mod Pack. <coughs> um, there is a lot of mods in this mod pack and uh, I'm going to talk about them in just a second. Um, first of all, I'm using the Faithful 32 um, texture pack for Minecraft 1.4. So, let's get on with... Um, making a new single player world. Here we are. So, JB's <coughs> Let's Play Season 1 World Options uh, JB's LPS1 So, default world structure is on, allow cheats, nope, bonus chest off. Create new world. So, let's see what we get of exciting things. <coughs> so, it's taking quite the time today, but it is loading in the background. Let's just see. Spawning area. 32% <coughs> So we can start with some of the mods. Um, of course this mod has mod pack has Forge. It has the chicken coat core which is for chicken chunk loaders and a lot of some other stuff. Um, Misc peripherals which is f an add-on made by Richard G for turtles. We have not enough items powers power crystal course which is something to do with power converters and a lot of other stuff so first of all let's make sure that we are in recipe mode because we don't don't really want to be cheating do we now um, so let's see what do we have of exciting stuff hmm Well, <coughs> I'm just gonna walk or go walk around while um, talking. So, power crystal course is for power converters, uh, lava fabricators, oil fabricators, and a lot of other stuff, which hopefully I will get into at some point. Nice. Um, just gonna gather some stuff here, and we have advanced machines which is for industrial craft. We have advanced solar panels also for industrial craft. <coughs> we have a brand new mod called Applied Energistics and for you that has been playing Minecraft for a long time might remember logistics pipes and this Applied Energistics is basically um, logistics pipes <coughs> in a brand new version um, if you want to know more about the different mods, I really suggest that you go to Diewolf 20s um, YouTube. That's just youtube.com slash Diewolf20. He has a lot of mod spotlights and he has um, a really, really, really good Let's Play series. Um, I actually owe Diewolf to for getting into modded Minecraft. Um, let's just get, there we go. Um, <coughs> if I haven't been watching Direwolf, then I wouldn't be into modded Minecraft. Um, so let's see, other mods is Bibliocraft. That is more of an um, aesthetic mod, which has a few um, book stands and yeah, a lot of other stuff. I don't know if I'm going to be using that <coughs> so much. Um, Buildcraft. Everybody knows Buildcraft, or should do. Um, we have let's see, Buildcraft charge pads. Industrial Craft Two. Is that somewhat so you can basically go on a charge pad and get your armor, weapons, and all the tools. Um, 
charged up. And we have chicken chunks. Really, really good mod. Um, chicken chunk loaders. We have computer craft. Absolutely awesome mod. Uh, I'm not just not that good with programming, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we have ex equivalent exchange three. We got ender storage, extra biomes, factorization. Also a great, great mod to start out with. Um, although <laughs> to get your rules doubled up, you actually need a few diamonds. <coughs> but it's it's really good and really really reliable. Oh, am I that lucky? Am I really that lucky? I think I am. I find a village. <coughs> um, uh, flat bedrock. So bedrock is actually flatter. We've got gravity gun, gravity suit, Greg Tech, industrial craft 2, nuclear controls, uh, impus core. I'm not really sure what that is. <coughs> we got inventory tweaks. Really, really nice mod. So you can see if I do this and middle click, then it actually sorts my inventory. Really, really nifty. <coughs> we got iron chests, Minecraft factory reloaded, another great mod. Modular power suits, miscraft, um, not enough items, plugins, nether ores, obsidian plates, omni tools, petrogen. Not sure what that is, but that sounds interesting. <coughs> um, portal gun, power converters, railcraft, red power 2, another railcraft and red power, another uh, t two, another two most excellent mods. I actually love them. Um, Steve carts, soul shards, uh, secret rooms mod. This is actually something completely new in FTB. And we have Thormcraft, Thomic Bees. Thormcraft is a a mod that's all about magic. What else do we have? Um, thermal expansion <coughs> by King Lemming. And um, let's see, Red Power is Elaram, and Railcraft is S W V E or something can't remember sorry <laughs> um, tube stuff don't know what that is twilight forest that is a whole new dimension and we got the voxel mod we got chicken bones wireless redstones Zeno's reliquaries and sidecraft Zeno's reliquaries is xenophobe who was the original author of equivalent exchange so that mod is a lot like equivalent exchange, but then again, not. Uh, Sidecraft is made by Direwolf's um, trusty sidekick, Sorin. And I think Chicken Bones, yeah, Chicken Bones is doing some work to it as well. Um, and for some odd reason, my fraps just decided to mm. die on die on me. <coughs> so I think I was trying to say that I was. I thought to myself, I really want to find a village, and I want to protect it and industrialize it. So I actually couldn't believe my luck, and also because a village is, as you can see, a really good place to start. Um, I do feel like it's a bit cheating because I didn't do anything to deserve all this food. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but still, um, there's a lot of possibilities in a village. And it's actually quite a big village with a lot of food. So, I'm just going to let a lot of it grow and um, take one, take uh, over one of the houses and let's see normal tower is there anything in this tower sometimes you can be lucky um, if it's a thorncraft tower I think you'll be able to see that if there <coughs> was some chisel sandstone or chisel stone bricks there and there 
At least that's what I found. Um, so we got a few bees, and oh, I I just can't. I really can't believe my luck. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, so let's see. How lucky are we? We got a tropical, no flowers, and we got a tropical with no flowers. And hello, Mr. Villager. 24 oak wood gives us an apiary. Not bad. So is there a... Hmm. Lucky and unlucky because it's tropical queens. Um. Okay, let's just uh, press B and we get this Let's like type in village. So that is <coughs> a marker, which is pretty good. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! I don't think I've, <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this lucky. Um, so this is a really good seed. <coughs> so this is a thorncraft tree, and there is a spider spawner. So I need to get a um, a pickaxe. Okay, so it's almost dark out. So, let's see. I need to find some specific trees that is from Applied Energistics. And it's a kind of a new rubber tree. So, I think there was some over in this direction. So what you can see here is actually basalt and it comes from that that volcano. Whoa. <coughs> Whew. Uh and volcanoes is from red power too. Right, let's get the world to load around us. Um yeah, I'll be right back when all this is uh, loaded. Right, it didn't actually load that much, but this is all right. So this is not the tree I'm looking for. Kind of annoying that the world hasn't loaded properly around me. So let's see, let's go over here this direction. I thought there was some of the trees over here, but I guess not. Hmm. I was really hoping to find those trees because they are awesome. Um, but let's just have a look around, see what we, what kind of mischief we can get ourselves into. Um, that no, that's not the one. Oh, birchwood forest. I know there should be some in there, but now it's getting dark out and all. Uh, so let me just get a bit closer on my minimap. I do that by pressing Z. Oh, there they are. This is actually really, really good. I love this uh, tree. <coughs> As you can see, I get some funny thing out of it. And this is rubber. So, I'm actually going to have a farm with this. And I've tested a bit. I know the forestry multi-block farms does not accept this um, this kind of tree unfortunately uh, but I'm gonna try some other things otherwise I'm just gonna make a farm and try and try and see if I can program a turtle <coughs> to uh, To um, to harvest this, otherwise I'm just have to do it manually. Otherwise I'm hopefully going to try it with Railcraft and Steve Cards. Um, so that's hopefully going to be some luck. Oh, two saplings, nice. That's all I need for now. And this tree, um, rubber tree, actually produces rubber wood, which is something I really like. So, what biome do we have? We have meadows, birch forests... Oh, pumpkins! And actually a wolf. I haven't seen a wolf in... 
ages in any Minecraft game. Don't know why they're so rare nowadays. So, let's just, uh, one, two, three, there. Why don't we just set up shop here? Um, I know there's not a lot we can do right now, unfortunately. Uh, all the villagers are gone inside. So I need to protect these villagers. Because I don't want them to be killed by zombies or anything else like that. So I'm gonna probably fence in the area. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that on camera because that would just be boring. So let's right off the bat get a normal pickaxe. Oops. Uh, and see if we can uh, actually. Where did the tower go? Um, that tower that I can't find now, which is actually weird. Where is it? There. Uh, <coughs> I don't really, I don't really want that. It's really of no use. Oh, actually, the villagers live in it. Uh, hello. Okay, so I didn't actually know that the villagers used that. Um, hmm. I learned something new. So let's see. I I know I could use that spider spawner over there for something useful, but to be honest. I don't really care about spider spawners. So I'm actually just going to break it and uh, hopefully get something useful out of the chest. Steadfast, a music disc, some tin, some sapphires. <laughs> kind of disappointed. Not not what not really what I was hoping for, but hey, what are you gonna do? So let's get back. <coughs> so this is kind of exciting. Um finding a village like this. Um let's see. I'm actually going to make a sword out of this. And yes, that might be stupid, but... In these dangerous times, I need something to protect myself with. And I need to go kill some sheep. <coughs> because I don't really want to wait for night time every single day. And now there's a lot of sheep. So, might as well kill them. Thank you. So, we got our three wool, so now we can make a bed. And yay, I got a saddle, so if we find a pick, then we can ride it to the top of the mountain, or something. <laughs> uh, have a bit of fun. So, let's see, we found the chest, let's put that there. I just break this. This is actually really good looking wood and that is cherry wood planks. <coughs> so everything that we don't need right now. Get that into here. Don't need that and we don't need that either. So I'm gonna show you something um <coughs> useful. If you click in and you have a bed, then you can press this question mark and it will lay out the um, ghost recipe for you. But if you hold shift and press, and now it won't do it, I can show you with other things. But basically that would make as many as it possibly could out of the materials you have. So now we've got our base set up. And... All the villagers are out and having a grand time. Um, 
our two trees are there. And weren't there some f where we could go down? Yes. Ooh. Cool. Found some coal right off the bat. That's that's that's, that's just amazing. Um I've been thinking oh oops. What to um what to start with. And I think I'm actually just going to mine down, get a lot of resources. I'm going to do that between episodes because watching me mine well, I th I think that would be boring. Um so I'm just going to mine a lot of resources and um after that, I can get started with what I want. I hope so. Otherwise, I just have to mine for some more resources. But yeah, I think my looking at me mining for resources would be quite boring. Um, <coughs> also, I'm gonna try and see if I can protect my little village over there. Um, probably get a cobblestone generator or something. Um, so I should close in the city or oh, the village and make it into a little city um, because I want to breed villagers because with the new uh, version of Mistcraft you can't actually just travel to different ages and if you're like whoa JB different ages yeah <coughs> Basically, you can create another, a new world within your own world. Um, but we'll get to that later on. But before you could discover symbols with um, with Mistcraft, just by traveling to another um, another age. But you can't do that anymore. So. Let's see, you need a... Yes, yeah, so this is copper. And from the textures, I can see that the Feed the Beat team is using the um, thermal expansion ores. So that's really cool. I like that. Um, I don't know if there's a difference between the spawn rates. Um, so if I break this, can we break it? Yes. And we get three. So does these mid yeah, they mid light. Nice. And they can actually be used as traps as well, because uh they are pointy. So the good Mr. Sorin, who actually made this mod with chicken bows, has made his more or less useless stuff a bit more useful. So you can actually use those quartz crystals in <coughs> in a mob trap. Kind of nifty. Okay. Um, let's see. And I found another kind of quartz crystals, and got some quartz dust. That is from you can see here quartz crystals and quartz dust. That is from applied in logistics and they can actually also be used for a lot of things so there's a lot to go through um, and I would say I, I basically my purpose with um, with this oh let me just show you this this is Psycraft Auras as well ouch um, <coughs> they can actually be used for a lot of good things um, <laughs> god I'm just finding a lot of minerals um, but these psychorium can be smelted into bars, they can be used for uh, floors and other stuff and if you place them as floors they actually prevent mobs from spawning on them and they come in a variety of colors um, and they have a really really great high-tech look about them so that's definitely something I'm, I'm gonna use well, I'm actually just I'm I'm really I'm amazed how much uh we find. Oh, and this I need an iron pickaxe for, but that is amber and that is from 
um, Thorncraft. <laughs> I tend to forget names and I tend to forget stuff as well when I'm building. Um, Monizai or let's just press U on that. Uses. So we can place that in a furnace or a pulverizer or a macerator or industrial grinder. Okay. Um, and you get this forsicum. Yeah, so that is well. That can be used as an amplifier. I didn't know that. Um, but that is for the modular force field system mod or MFFS. Oh, another cave. Wow. Uh, lucky spawn. Um, let me just get back to the house and conclude this episode. And before I go, I will actually give you guys the seed for this map. So, there you go. That's the seed for this map. And um, I, in the meantime, I will go mine. Oh, just one quick thing. This, the rubber, can actually be made into torches. So, you have, if you find those trees, you actually have torches right off the bat and you don't have to go find iron and use your precious coal on it so that's that's really really good hello mister three emeralds for a shears couldn't that be the other way around that would be more, much more useful so i hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of luck um and i will see you next time bye bye